Every culture is a unique answer to a fundamental question. What does it mean to be human and alive? Because the greatest curse in the history of humanity, a curse that goes back to the dawn of awareness, is cultural myopia. The idea that my world is a real world and everybody else is a failed attempt at being me. My point is that cultural myopia is not just a curse of humanity, but it's the one horrific trait of humanity that in a multicultural, pluralistic, interconnected world we can no longer indulge. As if literally all of the glory of the rainforests and, and, and uh, the natural uh, wealth, the, 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 the natural capital of the forest was just sort of being put into a grinder yes. and ground out to produce money, you know. Let me ask you a question. What's a formula of photosynthesis? Carbon dioxide and water sparked by photons of light creates carbohydrate and releases oxygen. But you could easily graduate not just from this undergraduate university, but from law school, from business school, without knowing the formula of life. Yeah. How can we possibly get people to understand the profundity of biological relationships, the profundity of ecological connections, the, the interdependence of life itself, if they are utterly scientifically illiterate. We accept that someone can be fully educated who has not the slightest idea of anything to do with biology. Think about that. That's really what the whole wrap of development is. I mean, the whole development paradigm is is, is questionable. I mean, genocide, the physical extermination of a people, is universally condemned. Ethnocide, the destruction of a people's way of life, is not only not condemned, it's embraced in many quarters as appropriate development policy. You know, pastoral nomads or, 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 or uh, hunters and gatherers don't fit the image of the nation state, and therefore they have to be eliminated, right? I mean, just think of it. I mean, mm -hmm. half the languages of the world that were spoken the day you were born are not being taught to children, which means they're on the road to extinction. To lose half the languages in a generation is to literally lose half of humanity's collective knowledge. Every fortnight, some elder passes away and carries with them into the grave the last syllables of an ancient tongue. You know, if God's all-powerful, why does he allow evil to exist in the universe? Lord Krishna said to thicken the plot. You know, I mean, I think cultural appropriation ranges from stealing the Elgin marbles, you know, from Greece, um, to an ongoing serious epidemic of, of marketing of, of rare treasures um, through illicit smuggling, you know, rings, which should be heavily policed and heavily condemned. I mean, the, th the thing that we forget is that this incredible social transformation Women in a generation going from the kitchen to the boardroom, people of color from the woodshed to the White House, gay people, men and women from the closet to the altar, um, school children talking of biodiversity, the biosphere of Gaia, people beginning to abandon traditional patriarchal religion uh, for, the, for the, the, the subtle nuances of, of the Dharma in Buddhism, which is one of the fastest growing religions in the West. Um, the fact that we really are seeing the earth in almost um, metaphysical terms as, as, as a living entity. Now, the, all of the things from above that I mentioned are profoundly threatening to someone who isn't prepared to accept them. But I took psychedelics, and I'm proud to say that I wouldn't write the way I write, I wouldn't think the way I think. I Likewise. Would, I wouldn't have understood the nature of cultural relativism as an anthropologist. I wouldn't treat women the way I do. Our parents used to say, don't take these things, you'll never come back the same. That was the whole bloody point. Point. Right? <laughs> to evolve. And so the, the fact that the genie's out of the bottle, ain't going back, and the tsunami of social change and transformation and spiritual growth and reinvention of our entire sense of ourselves on the planet, it's rolling forward and, you know, get out of the way if you're not prepared because it'll drown you if you're not prepared to float upon it. You know, Facebook, Twitter, I mean, six, basically six billionaires in Silicon Valley have within their hands um, the ability to protect or, or, or frankly destroy our 
democratic traditions that have developed in such a powerful way, but always on, by definition, a fragile foundation. And so everybody you know who uses cocaine has the blood of Colombian people on their hands. Wow, that's going to be a wild book, yeah.